Stay happy, stay healthy, keep it real. Hello everyone and welcome to UK Health Radio. My name's Jess Lewis and I am the founder of Governor Minds and joining me today I have the lovely Gertie Pundal. How are you today Gertie? Oh bless you, I'm good thank you. How are you? I'm really good. I've had a very busy week planning lots of different things. We've just mm. announced our lucid dreaming retreat for September. <gasps> wow. And the autumn equinox. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Elaborate. <laughs> We're going to basically teach people how to lucid dream. Do you remember we had Nick on yeah. a few weeks ago and he was talking and saying a few tips? Well, Nick is going to be doing um, all the workshops. We're going to have sacred sound healing journeys, meditations, just getting people um, through the, the basics of the lucid dreaming uh, into the advanced stages on the last day. So it's going to be pretty good. Wow. It's going to be pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty amazing. Mm. Wow. Mm. So I've been doing that. And also we've got, because it's our anniversary. It's our oh. year anniversary in September. It'll be a oh. year that we met. Wow. Um, September? Stuff just gone quick, hasn't it's it? So, quick. so much has happened in a year. I know. It's crazy. So wow. yeah, I've just been planning the anniversary um, event on the 6th of September. Okay. That's pretty much what I've been doing this week. Pretty amazing. Yeah, and I've got some nice goodies off Clive to call, which I'm going to tuck into, <laughs> all these multivitamins and stuff. Uh. So I'm going to be pretty healthy this time next week <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope so <laughs> oh, so what have you been up to this week Erdie? well so this week i've been doing a bit of life coaching setting up an event myself actually mm. in the middle of july it's actually with a lady who owns an ayurvedic shop so we're going to help people to understand their bodies more so a bit like i don't know if you heard about you have different types of body types like vata and other yes. types of pizza, pizza. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we're going to teach that and get some people to, to try like organic teas and then I'm going to introduce them to some skincare products that um, I do on the side, which help me clear my acne. But also on top of that, I'm just sorting out some of my other business and getting my logo and everything else sorted out. So it's pretty Brilliant. intense. It's all go, go, go for you then, yeah. isn't it? Oh. <laughs> well, we've got a, a fantastic guest today. Um, this guy's a two times world champion in mm. Thai boxing and he's, he used to be ranked uh, number one in the UK for kickboxing as well. Um, I've had him on at Governor Minds and he does a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant motivational talk. His name's David Paquette. Um, he's, what can I say? He's, he's, he's a motivational positivity king um, he's got his company positive mental attitude training and he helps coach people as well you know mm. in different like to stop smoking he helps coach people if they have a, a fight coming up whatever it is he, he coaches them and he also does past life regression as well so we'll mm. talk a bit about that okay david yeah. well thank you for uh, joining us okay um so david can you tell uh, me what what your background is and what line of work you do my background, well, geez, there's quite a few different backgrounds I've got, but people know me as David Paquette, uh, two-time world Thai, Muay Thai champion, kickboxer. Uh, got to be ranked number one in the country for all across the world, uh, which is uh, one of my greatest achievements I've done so far. Other people know me as David the PMA man, positive mental attitude. Yes. My training, what I do is I help people train their minds to take care or to make change in their lives and I think we all should do that absolutely we all should now I had you on at Gathering of Minds um, a few well it was it was last month wasn't it was it last yeah, month last month e, honestly yes. it's, it's, <laughs> time just goes really weird doesn't it the older you get like you never know like how long things were anyway yeah so you had you on at Gathering of Minds and I've got to say you did an amazing amazing talk people loved it it is so good I think people want to be motivated but I think sometimes people get stuck in a rut, don't they? Mm. Yes, definitely. Uh, and thank you very much for asking me to come down and, and, and do have a talk. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But my my intention was to make sure everybody had a good time. Mm, Every time I walk did. into a room or I meet somebody, my intention is to do good work with people. Yes. I mean, ridiculous if I didn't do good work, it wouldn't mean anything. So my intention was, I think we all should use intent more. Mm. So I think it's really a powerful word to use intent more. Know your outcome and then go out and do it. And mm. It's quite, some people seem it hard to be, but once you get the understanding of it and you train to do it, just like anything, you use it and then you're David, um, I'm just yes. looking at your um, website. Um, what is NLP? NLP is New Olympics Programming. It's uh, easiest variation you can read it quickly. It's just like a computer. Your mind is like a computer. Yeah, so here is your mind. Linguistics is language, how we take in our language. And the program is how we be, how we use our perception, and how we use our information and towards it. So how we are taking my internal representation through my mind, picture, sounds, is how I've been programmed. So if I've been brought up with a belief, I'll give you a real good one. Everybody says it. Some, some not all parents, but some parents say, I want never get 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can, I, can I say that to kids? Yes. <laughs> I, think that's a, I think that's quite a bad thing. Yeah, because it's... I tell my son that. I tell my son, if he wants something, I say, you have to earn it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, it's seeing the same thing, isn't it? But... Somebody, what I want never gets, and you hear it for a long time, and it's imported into your mind. So if you want to go out and get a new job, or you want to go out and find something, you, you want to do something, you always have this nagging thing, I don't think I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. It's so true. So it's how sometimes it's how we've been programmed. That's why I said to my son, you can have anything you want, but you have to earn it. And that's how life goes on. So that's what I mean by end up being by programming. It's so true, actually, what you were saying, because yeah. we get conditioned into thinking we're never good enough, we can't make yeah. it, we can't do this, we can't do that. But you, you've actually you've actually took... Uh, because parents, obviously, don't want to make the kids think like that, right? They don't actually realise, do they, like, the, 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 mm. the, the consequence of saying things like this to, to a child, right? So, but, but the way you phrased that other way of saying... Well, you can have it, but you have to work for it. It's just yeah. like, it's just, it's brilliant, that, I mm. think. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I think you can see, you know, just you met me a couple of times, you haven't met my son yet, but you can see I'm very passionate about how I talk about my son and how I, how I do things. It's just, it, I'm not berating any parent, because I know parents is a, it's a very hard job to do. Mm. And everyone does the best they can do at the moment. And sometimes what we do is we, we don't want our kids to make mistakes. And that's fine. Um, but making mistakes is part of part of life. Mm-hmm. You know, we need to allow our children to make mistakes and ourselves to, and not to be worried about making mistakes because if you don't make mistakes, you're never going to learn. Yeah, 100%. You know, it's, it's very important not to hold this, I don't want, I'm fearful of making a mistake, or I don't want to make a mistake. Go out and make a mistake and enjoy it. Learn from it. And every time you make a mistake, you get more information and then that put you on the right path. And once you're on the right path, your life will be great. And once your life will be great, anything can happen. Oh, it's brilliant. Let, let, let's go back to the beginning of your story, right? Because obviously I, I know your story, but there's, there's, a, there's a lot of people that might not. So let's just talk about what happened to you, right? Um, you know, in your life that give you the, the information and the teachings and also the, the ability to become a world champion. What, what, was it, what was the building blocks for all this happening? were you when you first started Thai boxing? When I first started Thai boxing, I was just roughly around 24. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, um, so obviously you took it up, not with the view to fighting. So what, <laughs> but then all of a sudden you became world champion. So what was the, the changing point for you? <laughs> what, when, when was it you... It, 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 it was very slowly. It was a very slow process. <laughs> the things that happened was, uh, one of, I started doing sparring with a Yeah, why not? I was quite nervous. <laughs> <laughs> 
first time I, I didn't want none of my family and friends to come and watch me because I thought, what happens if I, if I lose or if I get, yeah. if I get punched or I get on the floor? Uh, I had one fight and I really did enjoy it. Afterwards, I really did enjoy it. And then my trainer said to me at the time, do you want to have a harder one next time? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It's addictive. I had harder fights, so then, oh, then I say everything started to work. Everything like the confidence in myself started to build up in Thai boxing. Uh, you know, going out to shows, fighting people at different and challenging myself physically as well as mentally. Because mentally, you don't expect it, but mentally, Thai boxing is very taxing and boxing. Yeah. Because if you're going in there and you're challenging yourself against somebody else and you don't know how good they actually are, mm-hmm. you fight. Yeah. And you make them like monsters and bigger than they are. But they're not. They're just human beings. They've got two arms, they've got two legs, they put pants in the same way, and everyone can be beaten. And then one of my trainers told me that. And once he told me that, I understood the form that I had to get into fight. Mm-hmm. So I just started to enjoy it, and I enjoyed it. And then the next thing you know, I became fairly good. Number one in the country. People started mm-hmm. to recognize me. Mm-hmm. And once I, once I retired, Yes. To react against how somebody is, somebody was. And I'll give you a real good answer. It happened to me years ago when I realized how powerful I am and myself. The reason why I realized how powerful I I had to take responsibility for my own actions. Mm. I was driving, and I was driving, I came from swimming with my son. Uh, he must have been just 18 months at the time. And I was driving down this road, and I was trying to get home because I wanted to feed him, I wanted to do so. I was no need for me to rush, but I wanted to rush. And I was doing 45 miles an hour, and I got pulled over by the police. I saw in that police, and I went, fight, I have to blame something else. It wasn't my fault. I had to do something else. I had to put the blame onto something else. Until some moment when the cop said to me, well, I'm sorry, so I'm going to have to give you some penalty points and a fine. It realized to me that I was responsible for this car. I'm the one that's driving, so I have to take, I have to take responsibility. Then the moment I realised that, that really empowered me to realise whatever happens in my life, I'm responsible for how I act towards it. Mm. Exactly. When the, couple, when the couple said to me, you know, it's, it's 60 quid and three points, I went, do you know what, mate? You're absolutely right to be that. I was doing 45, there's no way I should be doing it. It's a 35 mile an hour area. There's no way I should be doing that. And he goes, look, I have to give you it. But it's very mm. nice for somebody actually to admit they were doing wrong. So the minute I met him to do wrong, it empowered myself. And that's why yes. I like to do with people. I like to get one to empower themselves, actually, to really turn around and believe in themselves. Because once you can really do it, anything's possible, really. 100%. Absolutely. Do you know what I think it is, David? I think people need to um, let two things into their life. Acceptance is one of them, and gratitude yeah. is, is the other. Because when you oh. when you accept things for, for how it is, not how you want it to be, or how you, yeah. you know, how you think it should be, but how it actually presents itself, then you can let go of a lot of crap. Um, because until you accept things, you can't, you can't change the situation, right? And obviously, gratitude, people need to be grateful, man. Be grateful about everything you've got in your life. Even even the bad stuff because it mm. teaches you. Makes you into a better person. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's very, very powerful. But it, again, I'm glad I'm really talking to you today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually. Yeah. <laughs> because we should do, but we, sometimes we're not because we're kind of cattle prod 
it's to just believe in one card away, you know, be great, be really grateful for things, be grateful, I'm not really grateful, but we should be, be grateful for breathing, be grateful for everything you've got, be grateful for mm. everything you're eating. The moment you start doing that, again, I think you know, and some people who might be listening, it knows, it empowers you, it changes how you perceive everything. And I think also the problem is as well, people don't realise how powerful they actually are. They get stuck in like kind of mean or jobs that doesn't kind of, yes. you know, reflect their talent. So they get undermined and then they feel worthless. Yeah. And it's, that's where it kind of stems from as well. I, I think you're right. And I think as well, like when people don't have the right people in their lives. Yeah. Do you know, I, I was watching a thing, David, right, with this doctor, um, D- Dr. Leonard Caldwell, his name is, right? I discovered him. He's talking about um, why people get cancer and he's saying it's emotional stress and emotional trauma that, that we put ourselves through. So if this is right, if what he's saying is true and our mind can cause us to get sick, then we need to make sure that we have the best possible people around us and people are supporting us in life and not sort of dragging us down or saying you can't do this you can't you know what I mean do you think that's important oh you mum laughed yes massively massively you need people around you like that just uh, there's people who want to suck your energy from you but don't want to get anything back or call them emotional man and mm. they're kind of people you want to stay away from um, because they don't do nothing for you. They just take everything away from you and leave you quite dull. And personally, myself, I don't want nothing to do with emotional vampires. But mm. sometimes we do get tricked in. Oh, well, I like that person because they can do this. But then you get this <laughs> niggling doubt. Yeah. yeah. You should listen to the niggling doubt. The niggling doubt is there. Mm. Ooh, I'm, a, I'm a real good example of it. I've had niggling doubts. I've gone on. I said, no. No, 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 I like this girl, she's really nice, I like yeah. her, and I should have listened to my niggling doubt because she was a nice person. And we mm. realized mm. she's an emotional vampire. Had to yeah. let go of her, mm. thank God I let go of her, now I'm with somebody who's an emotional angel. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's so good, man. I 100% agree because I had a lot of negative people around me last year. And really? anything I was trying to do, they would put me down. Whereas this year, I cut them out last year, and my life is completely different there's so many positive people in my life mm. and like whatever I, I, I've done this year I just feel so much more happier yeah it's massive this difference. is exactly I, I would, it I would tell you and I'll tell the listeners have to deal with negative people <laughs> if you've got somebody who's continuously negative mm. you, well, no, natural thing is what we do is we will all say why don't you do this they give you a negative problem you yeah. give them an answer I never give them the answer I will never do that I would turn around and say to them what do you think you need to do to make a change in your life? That's brilliant. <laughs> well, that is brilliant. <laughs> that is 100% true. Yeah, because this is a thing I think a lot of times, you know, you, you, you can make as many suggestions as you want to people, but you know, yeah. we, we, we've all met these types of people. How many times have you done that in the past and no one listens to you? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, Jesus, God, why don't you listen to me? A lot easier you listen to me. No, mm. no, no, but I can't do this. Look at the card, they put problems in front of it. Mm. Easy solution. What do you think you need to do to make change in your life or change this problem? That's brilliant. That's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bailey, Bailey the dog's got an answer. He agrees. He knows he what he needs to do. But I think... Yeah. I think the problem as well, though, is being British as well. We're quite sceptical. We're quite yeah, negative. Yeah, we are quite moony, We're quite we? moody. And I think that, again, can reflect the way people see their life. You know, they carry on with the same job, yet they hate what they're doing. But do they won't what? change it or fix it. I, 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 Again, uh, I, like, when I meet somebody that I hate my job, good. As long as you know you hate your job. Yeah, you can do something about That's it. That's what I say. It's a, it sounds really rude and it might sound a but I mean it in the nicest way. I hate my job. It's a real pain in the ass. Good. As long as you know you do not like something, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. At least you know it. At least you're not going through your life not knowing that you don't like something. Now, mm. now, you, know you, don't know, now you know you don't like it. Why don't we do something about it? It's true. What do you, David, what, what do you think of um, cutting out media and news and things like that for sort of helping people uh, keep on a, in a positive mindset? Do you think the news, or not just the news, but the media and TV in general is bad for the mind? Or do you think it has some good? I hardly ever watch the news. Uh, and it's quite surprising, not surprising, because I know, I know what they do. Yeah. It's not the most nicest things in the world. They report it. Happiness, for some reason, happiness doesn't sell, which doesn't make any sense. Bad <laughs> news makes it works. Everything's bad on the news on the news, and that's what people like to listen to. That's 
Mm. I don't mind if it's into it. Mm. I know there's bad things in the world that happen, and uh, we can't stop the bad things in the world that happen. But there was also some really wonderful exactly. things in the world that happened. You know, they, they talk a lot about how bad single dads are in this country, and, and you know, I know some amazing, wonderful single dads. Yeah. Who get the credit for the so it gets me a bit confused. Why don't we talk about something like that? You know, there's some amazing young, there's some amazing young youths who are out there today, some young kids who are really talented and really good at what they do. The mm-hmm. majority of times we hear about is just bad kids doing this. Mm-hmm. But they're not. Mm-hmm. some amazing people in the world. I mean, for mm-hmm. some reason, I don't understand it as such yet, but we don't like to report it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe because it makes you feel a bit uneasy to hear that someone's doing quite well. No, I agree with you on that. I actually work for a charity over the summer where I teach young people how to record and produce films. And we go down into communities to break down the barriers. And a lot of times when we go to like elderly homes or people with mental illnesses or any type of background who's kind of scared of young people, they kind of react in a different way. But by the third day, they actually love them and they want them to come back. Yeah, because you know kids are supposed to be bad. You want a hoodie on your bad. You know, you know, it's not realistic. that be silliest thing in the world to, to consume that the whole of the English population the young kids between 24 and 19 as a, a, a woman to rush it they're not mm. some of them are amazing young people it's just like a small some percentage of some of them are being tarnished with a brush that they have mm. from I can't stand this word but I'm going to use it because some people might know the end or the ghetto there's mm. no ghetto in, the, in London there's no way that's going to happen but some people are put a tarnish and put a badge and say because they're in an area and they believe that they can't get out of the area or they believe yeah. they should be acting in this way because that's what the area is supposed to be doing. Mm. And I know it's going to be difficult for young kids right now, I definitely mm. know. But you don't have to. You don't have to. Mm. The problem is, well... You can say that you're from the east of London and you've mm. been erupting. Because there's going to be amazing, wonderful people coming out from the east of mm. London or west or, or, or poor backgrounds. The problem so is... Say there's amazing people doing that. The problem is it's the negative people putting them down so they can't get out as well. I think that's yeah. the main kind of yeah. cause. They try, yeah. Yeah. but they but get you know what? pushed back in. The, the, you're always going to meet people like that. Like I, I, I've met loads of people like that that's like sort of slyly being like, oh, you shouldn't do that. Do you know what I mean? For whatever <laughs> reasons other than like yeah. any, any other genuine reason. Mm. A hidden agenda, basically. And you know, you're always going to cr- come across people like that. But you've just got to have self-belief in yourself yeah and you've got to listen to that voice inside you because if you if that voice is telling you something uh about someone or a situation you should always always listen to it i think Mm. ah exactly we're talking about it's about that conscious mind and unconscious mind consciously we know things we should do unconsciously we have this amazing inner sense like this fire defense we can call it inner sense inside you that tells you what's right from wrong or what to do and mm-hmm. sometimes we listen to it and the majority of the time we don't listen to it. Mm. Mm. So gut instinct. you got instinct, yes. yeah. You call it, you, you call it gut instinct, but have you ever done something and you went and you done it and then you said, like, I knew you shouldn't have done it? Yeah. Yeah, that, whatever. All the time. That's, that's kind of what we call your unconscious mind. Yeah. Uh. You go and you say, oh, I don't know what I should really do that because I don't think it's going to work. And then you go and do it, you go, I knew I should have done it. You should listen to a little bit more of that. I'm not going to, yeah, I could tell you more about that because what happens is, right, my perception of it, how it works for me is, as kids, as we grow up, our parents tell us we're the most amazing, wonderful people in the world. Yes? Yeah. And you say you can do whatever you want to do and you're amazing and you can do anything. You can fly, you can do whatever. And then you go, wow, I must be amazing because I'm growing up. I'm, I'm the kid, you're the parent, you're telling me that. I'm amazing and I've got to listen to you. <laughs> and then you listen to me and then you're amazing, you're amazing, I love it. And then you go off and you try to do new things, which sometimes might scare the parent or the person who's looking after you. And they say, don't you do that. We can't do things from that because we're not supposed to do things. We're supposed to keep in our class system or the area mm. that we're supposed to be born up to. <laughs> then all of a sudden you lose the power of the ability to actually like, mm. to really believe in yourself and allow yourself mm. to dream and allow yourself to go out and do anything you want to mm-hmm. so sometimes consciously we allow our mind to go off and then once we allow our mind to go off mm. then it's kind of possible and then you believe that it's possible mm. then someone tells you you can't do that then you believe they believe it mm. and mm-hmm. it, just a little bit by little bit it chips away 
Mm. and your confidence and your dream and your ability to go out and do something with different so it chips away from it and what mm. we want I, what I want to do with people is not allow it to chip away mm. I want it to, to grow I say to my oh. son every day he's an amazing person person he's a genius I think oh, the problem is oh sorry I was going to say, David, I think the problem is is that it also stems from school. So when you're in nursery or a reception, they tell you you can be anything. And then the moment you get into primary school or secondary school, they tell you to be realistic. Yeah. And then we get stuck yeah. into that system. And then they tell us to get a good education. We, we're going to fail if we don't get a good education. Yes. So we throw ourselves at university and then we come out and like, oh, why can't I do what I wanted to do? So I think that's the kind of main problem as well. I think it is partly mm. to blame with parents, but also the education system no, as well. I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming all the parents, but they will never do that because the parents might come and try to get me. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's, it's a whole, we're all, we're all responsible for it. Mm. We're all responsible yes. for it. Teachers and, and everyone, you know, to, to, to people's, to be realistic, well, for you, yeah, not for me. I don't want to listen to your dream. I want to do my dream. Yeah, so, so, yeah, that's what I do. I, lo- I love I love, talking about making people positive and how to change their minds. And, and a great, great, just remind me of a great subject I met the other day. I was talking to some lady behind reception of a gym. I won't mention the gym I was in, but there's, there's a nice big gym. And she said she was doing, uh, she'd learn in fractions. Because she wants to do some, uh, some exams. She wants to better herself. I think that's amazing. So well done. And then she said to me, as she's old, she she can't learn things, and mm. it puzzled me. I was like, "Really?" She goes, "Yes. The older you get, the more you can't take on information." This is what people like, convince I'm, themselves of. Yeah. I was like, I was like, wow. And I thought to myself, "Baby, roll up your sleeves and tackle this situation right now." <laughs> <laughs> I said to her, "Really?" She goes, "Yeah." I said to him. So you're, when you're young, as a young person, you take in much more information, you can learn to do anything. She said, yes. I said, that's what you believe. She goes, yes. I said, I've never seen a baby drive an airplane or drive a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> that's so hilarious. how young is young? Because you know, most kids are learning around 17, 18. Some people don't go into the late 40s before they drive the car. Some people want to do that. So she went, oh, yeah. Good point, isn't it? I'm like, yes, it's a very good point. So, you know, so you need to limit yourself to not believing mm. in something. I'm not saying anything's mm. plausible because it can't be everything's plausible. But if you train yourself to do anything, train to yourself to do a job, you can do a job. 100%. You train yourself, you can do it. It's just about believing in it. There's a formula, there's a formula, there's a way to succeed. Once you know how to succeed, it happens. That's why I love doing what I'm doing right now. I challenge myself after I thought after my career and it to come and speak to people. Mm. I, I, could never, I, I could never believe I was doing this at the age of 17. Someone said to me, David, this is your life, mate. You can be a two-time world <laughs> champion. You can go around the world, fight people, do all this. Instill belief into people, change people's lives, mm. do all this, David. Help people stop smoking and help them get a better life. So like, if I said to me, I thought, at 17, this is what I was going to do, I would have said that person's crazy. Mm. Yeah, I think funny. I think the problem is it's fear that stops people from doing what they want, mm. and fear ah, never yeah. achieves anything. <laughs> no. It's just a waste yeah, of time, I, I, really. I definitely know that. I definitely know. I talk to a lot of people about fear. Fear is not really real. The thing is, fear. It's a, it's just a, it's just an option, isn't it? It's just like yeah. it's just an option. It's like you don't have to choose fear. It's like it's like yeah. fear is there just so we have free will. I think so we have an option, something to pick from. That's all fear is. Mm. Yeah, man. I, I like to say to me, make it logical. Sometimes make it logical. If it's fair, really fair, then what are you really truly feeling about what you actually feeling about? Mm-hmm. Because once you can overcome fear, I tell totally you a good story. I do it to myself and I do it to a lot of other fighters. In fighting, what, what happens is you might meet somebody who's got a better record than you. I remember once when I was climbing up ladders, I had a guy from Thailand who was a Thai, Thai legend. Um, 300 on us fights he's had, your penny stadium champion four times. And, and I was, there was me, 20 fights. Jesus, I'm like, Jesus, he's at 300. Mm. Now that was quite fearful until my yeah. coach decided to put something in towards me, which is believing yourself. And I don't mean to be rude, but my trainer said to me, David, he shits the peas the exact same way you do. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn it, bloody time already. Yeah, and I went out and I battered him. That was really good. Really because actually, it, it got to me, it just made logical sense. Hold on, what am I fearful of? 
Mm. I'll say from him, because I'm putting all these thoughts into my head. Yes, and it's he you. He might be scared of me. Mm. Mm-hmm. He might be scared mm. of me, this young kid coming up who wants to find me. He might be nervous about that. Everyone's getting nervous about what he's mm. to me. So it got me thinking afterwards, what have I really got to be fearful of? I'd be fearful of danger. Me running into an oncoming car as you're traveling on that 20 miles an hour, that could be dangerous, that might hurt me. No, the fear, no, I don't want to do that. There's fear to me of being on some slow So I'll leave it. I think people forget that it, the only thing that stops you is yourself. It's not your parents. It's yeah. not the family. Yes. It's not the economy. It's not the weather. It's just you. It's just you and mm. we tend to blame others when we, we're not doing well. Yeah, people, people want someone else to pass it. To blame. People, people can't accept that they're the ones that caused it. Yeah. But actually, you will never be free if, that, if, that, if you're just going to pass the blame all the time. You'll never be truly... In, you'll never have inner peace because you'll always be looking mm. to pass that onto someone else, do yeah. you know what I mean? It's so true, girl. It's so, go. so true, yeah. Got to be responsible for your life. Got to be responsible. Yeah. 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 Even, even if you think that, some, even if someone's come to you, right, this is, this is what I think, right, if someone's come to you and you don't agree with what they're saying to you, you've still got to take it on board anyway because that's how they feel, oh. do you know what I mean? You've got to take responsibility for mm. how you make people feel. If, if, if people say to you that, whatever you said like offended is it's not for you to say if it didn't you've just got to take responsibility i think for your actions do you know what i mean yeah david actually i just wanted to to um talk to you a bit about the past life regression stuff that you do as well oh okay um so talk me through this so you 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 started doing hypnotherapy um how did the past life regression come into it um it's just i think as you learn My other half, actually. Going back to another last night, going back to 
another lifeline. And this time he was a, in a courtyard in the middle of the medieval ages, he said he was in there. And I was saying to him, he described what he's describing around him. He looked at his hands, his hands were looking at his colors, came towards what he's now, which is amazing. There was a lady there as well, who's a lady. I don't know who the lady is actually, what does she feel like? She feels like my mum. She feels like a woman in my life. How did it feel being there with that lady watching you in this medieval, in this medieval courtyard? I feel very proud that she's there watching me. She feels very proud. Very interesting. He went mm. further back. He went further back. He yeah. went back into, he was in, uh, he, what he could describe was this river. And people were in loincloths. And there's a woman on the bank, on the side of the bank. And she was a uh, dark complexion. Who's this lady? It feels like she's my mum. Okay, and how, what are you doing? He's going out fishing with the fishermen and he's bringing fish in. How does it make you feel doing that? He said to me, I'm looking at that lady and she's just smiling with pride. <laughs> Every live run he went down, he encountered a woman wow. who was very proud of him. I just asked him to that. He came back and he sat with me and we worked and went all the way back and he came back into it realising that his mother was very proud of him. Wow. And that was his journey that he went on to. And it was a really amazing story to be in. Yeah, yeah I can... That's why I like being passed on progression with people. It's amazing. Yeah, so I can relate to that because there's somebody that I used to date many years ago and every time we look into each other's eyes, I knew him from a previous life, mm, from like the Viking wow. era. And it's like, we would look at each other, not say anything and kind of freak out, but I knew that he knew. And it was just, re- it's really weird, but we've never, and we recently met again and the same thing happened. We both kind of ran away because it's, <laughs> it's scary. Don't run away. Look I know. But... Eyes, it embrace it. Yeah. There's, yeah. A, re- there's a reason for it. There there's a reason for it. And mm-hmm. I 100% believe in that. I believe that we come back into every life, we're coming back to kind of sort out our karmic debt. But yes. there's one thing I've kind of learned. I don't know what, what your opinion is, David, though. But So say, for example, if somebody's your mother in this life, they might be your father in the next life or your sister yeah. or a relative. So it changes. And say, for example, if you've upset that person, so in this life, they, they will kind of do that thing to you and you have to kind of forgive them and move on in order to kind of clear your karmic debt. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody will have a different kind of picture towards it or faith belief. I believe that we're here for lessons, learning, to do many amazing things in our lives, and we meet these people out in our lives to maybe inspire you, maybe mm. change something in your life. Mm. You know, I know, it's funny, I know my son, and my, my sister knows who my sister named my sister Big Bad is. Before she's always wanting to have a brother in her life, and we know that she's got a brother in her life. I believe it as well. Can I can I tell you something that actually has been going on for me this year? Um, so basically, I found out in, in in February March I've got arthritis. Can you believe of in my neck? Um, and wow. yeah, yeah. So I've been having loads of healing and stuff because this has been on and off for years, right? Like I boxed through it. I did all my fights through, all my jujitsu through. I just always thought wow. I had trapped nerves and stuff. Um, anyway, so it turns out I haven't, and it's this cervical spondylosis, right? um and um so basically i've been trying to get the bottom of it i thought it was because i was in a violent relationship like 10 years ago so i'm thinking it stemmed from that right and then i had um this this um i don't know what you would explain it as it wasn't a healing it was like she she looked this girl jodie shield she looked down my ancestral lines and stuff she took me back to this this life that i had my fifth ever life and she told me that i was that i was hung and then they chopped my head off. Um, then another, a different, a, a psychic confirmed it, right? Uh, my friend's a psychic and she um, she did some stuff and she was like, uh, she had the card and she pulled out a hangs man and, and the devil. She was like, yeah, you've got karmic debt. So she just basically said like, I've got to work out what it is 
that um, that I'm supposed to learn from in this in order to release it. <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Any ideas at all? Oh, I don't know. It's, 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 I it's... know. I do know it. Go on. I do know it. But you do know it before I knew it. See you again? The moment you told me, the moment you told me that story, you knew the answer. It sounds really ridiculous. You, knew it. You, you, know it. you know it inside. Right. The only thing I can come up with is that I'm supposed to cure this and then talk about it to help other people. Wow. You're a okay. healer. So basically, I've got. Well, a f- you didn't I'm. Need me, did you? Hey. You didn't even need me. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think that's what I've got to do. So we'll see. But it's it's amazing, isn't it? So this karmic death thing, you, you believe in this? This is something that's real for you. I, I, I won't say death. I won't say death. I know we're kind of here for whatever reason we're here for. We're supposed to be here for a reason. We're supposed mm-hmm. to figure that reason out. And that's the adventure that you're supposed to be going on in life. I'm not, but for me, I, I won't say death. I would say you're here for a lesson. Mm-hmm. I like lesson. Death means there's something bad. <clears throat> you're in death. Oh, it's bad. But mm-hmm. No, it's lessons. You're supposed to have lessons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the more lessons you have in your life, the more you grow, the more spiritual you come. Mm-hmm. How many times have you been taught about spiritual? You're here for a reason. Maybe your reason and my reason are here, and all our reasons today is that she talks to somebody and they listen to this, and they might understand what we're talking about on a different level, mm-hmm. and then they might want to change their life. Now, if we didn't go through any of the things that we've gone through our life right now and all our past lives, we wouldn't be able to maybe inspire somebody or change somebody's belief about themselves. Mm. And then they might change it. That's how I perceive how to be. And the moment you start doing that, wow, where does it end? Yeah. That's amazing. I might actually come and see you for a session, you know. Yeah, you're listening more than welcome to come and see you for a session. But just, just I, what I do is I think about it. It's really impossible. Mm. I've changed how I believe in myself and how I picture myself. And the moment I have done that, I've empowered myself to change my whole generation. Because I don't think nothing like how my father thinks. No way. Or even my mother would think. No mm. way. He hasn't forbid that. But never happened. So I have forever changed how my generation is. And now I'm told, well, I work with my talk to my son. I do the exact same thing. Mm. So would it not be... I think I've told you this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I have told you, yeah. My son, my son is five. He believes can't is a bad word. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's a good thing to teach your kids, you know. That's mm. brilliant. Yeah, and when he when he gets to age, he so can't is a bad word. He's in get in the So he's, he's in, you know, ingrained into his brain. Can't is a bad word because he learns from fathers and people around him. Mm. What can you do when he's older? Yeah. Mm. Listen, David, we are actually running out of time, but we just got time for okay. a couple of more questions. We're, we're running out of time, but we're just going to ask you a couple of more questions. Um, yeah. David, um, moving away from like the karmic kind of side, can you tell us, you know, regarding the positive mental attitude training that you do, what kind of workshops do you do? I do lots of workshops. I like workshops that help people remove fear from their lives, help people set up goals and achieve the uh, goals in their life as well. I achieve them to actually start training their mind to actually believe whatever dreams and aspirations they want to happen in their lives and make it happen. And there's many different ways you can do that by using LP and positive mental attitude mind training as well. It's just a lot of stuff I do with people is I help them understand what they what is what they truly want. We all have dreams and aspirations, yes, yeah, wonderful, but I'm interested in what you truly want. Because the moment you show me what you truly want is, that's a quicker way to let me know how we can get it for you. Amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's your website? Where can people see the information? It's www.pma1training.co.uk. That's amazing. Or you can come and see me, find me on my Facebook page, which is Positive Mental Attitude Mind Training. You can come on there, link it, like it. I send that positive message to everybody in the morning. Oh. Have a fantastic day. <laughs> brilliant. I love that you do that, by the way. It always makes yeah, me smile so when I get you. Little... So find, so find some links, find posters on there, send your message out if you want to believe in positive energy. You don't have to. You don't have to believe in, in positive energy or positive mind training. You don't have to. You, you... All I want you to do is have a great life. Mm. Whoever I meet is have a great life. If you believe positive mental attitude training can change your mind, great. If you can't believe it, it can't change your mind, please email me or give me a call and we can work out why. 
That's amazing. Oh, Listen, you, David, Dave. thank you so <laughs> much. I know it was very short thank notice. You. Got you on. Thank you. Indeed. What a brilliant interview. I, I'm, I'm uh, fantastic information. We're both there. feeling really positive. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's amazing. Listen, you're, you're... Thank you very much for your time as well. I'm going to take the dog back now and get the drink. All right, you, you have a great day, the rest of your day. Take care. You too, darling. You right, too. Take, take care, care now, David. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Stay happy, stay healthy, keep it real. Wow, that's a pretty amazing interview with David. Some of the stuff that he said, it's absolutely true. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you can do whatever you want in life. I think people too often put themselves down before they try. Mm. And the problem as well is that the system that we live in, society, people, negative energy it types of people. negativity, doesn't it? Yeah, they bring you down. You know, they say positivity reaps positivity, negativity reaps negativity. So it's up to you to decide who you want to be, where you want to go, and mm. how important that dream is to you. Because if that's what you want, nothing can stop you Mm. you can achieve it the only Mm -hmm. person that's stopping you is yourself absolutely it's so true it's so so true well i'm absolutely amazed as well i mean obviously i said before i've had him on governor minds and uh i just love his energy actually i love david's energy and i love um the information that he's got you know he's helping a lot of people and uh that's that's really quite something Mm. no definitely you can feel that energy as well in the interview yeah positive it's a nice man feeling it's a nice and man. that's what we need you know we are brits and you know we do tend to be quite uh what's the word moany moany <laughs> or negative skeptical, negative and because the weather's not great we mm, feel not moan. great but you know you can change that around if you want to have a great day you just got to wake up and say i'm gonna have a good day and trust me your life will change you will be a lot more positive a lot more happier mm and a lot more free absolutely good absolutely love oh (laughs) well that is kind of the end of the show for this week i know another week gone so quick but we kind of hope that you've learned something new today and Mm. please please whatever you're doing be positive forget what the negative thing is happening in life because you can be a better person absolutely if you've missed any of our previous shows then fear not you can find us on the uk health radio website the one that you're listening to right now and just select listen on demand thanks for joining us take care see you next week bye bye stay happy stay healthy keep it real you can follow us on twitter at uk natural health or find us on facebook at facebook.com forward slash natural health journey